Hi everyone, so uh, today we're going to be looking at the dashboard designer again in Tuna Studio. This time we're going to be looking in a little bit more detail at the different gauge types that are available. So first of all again I'm just going to create a new project to work from. Turn on designer mode and I'm just going to clear. So first of all right click Dashboard Designer, New, Add Gauge. And this will give me the list of standard gauge designs that are already available within Tune Studio. So you can see there's lots of different styles of gauge, both with pointers and more digital readouts and bar graphs of various different styles. So click Gauge and Add Gauge. And done. So I'm just going to put this in the middle, make it nice and big. So first of all, by right clicking on it, I've got this entire section here from Tune Studio Gauges all the way down to Xcode Dev, where I can set what type of readout I want on here. So I want engine speed. And then it defaults to the settings from my project. So it's got a reading from 0 to 8000 RPM. But if I want to change things, so if I want to change these warning zones, the, the coloured strips, I can right click Dashboard Designer, Properties Dialog, and I can set my warning limits. So if I don't want any low warnings at all, I can zero them out and the colours go away. So you can see my critical is my red zone, my warning is my yellow zone. My high warning and high critical, again, I can put in figures for, and my gauge updates. There are also other settings in here, so my border size slider, I can adjust the size of the border. My face angle fill, so as I adjust that you can see it adjusts how much of a circular face I have. My face start angle height, so you can see then that rotates that background image. My needle start angle, which again rotates then the image for the gauge. And then my sweep angle, which allows me to adjust the sweep. Put those back to the full circle. You've also then got at the top here things like adjusting the font size, so you can adjust how the gauge appears. And you can also adjust the font on the gauge as well. You also have fine control at the very top here for the actual location of the gauge and the size of the gauge if you so desire. Once you have finished your settings though, just click the cross, it closes and goes away. So again, let's right click on our gauge, dashboard designer, and colour dialog. So the colour dialog will allow me to change some of the colour settings for this. So if I don't want a yellow warning, I want a blue warning, I can click it, click apply, and my warning colour areas have gone blue. And if I wanted a purple critical colour and so it allows me to have that kind of control. I can also then change the colour of my needle and the colour of my font. So 
and even then the base colour and border colour. So you can see how even from one very simple gauge I've got a lot of customization options to make it appear exactly how I want it to appear on my particular setup. I can even actually make these things transparent so I can make my border transparent to get rid of it or apply it back to get the colour back and the same with all the other settings in there. So right click again, dashboard designer again and we can set a background image. So I could go for the carbon fibre option and apply and it changes the background instead of a colour into that carbon fibre effect pattern and there's a few images in there, not all of them are suitable for a background but you have a 3D school that you can use, the burning school, the circuit board, all these options are there already but of course you can add your own to it as you wish. So right click on there again, dashboard designer again, and needle image. So now we can choose to use one of the different needle styles if we wish. And that changes that for us. Again, you can use other images, so you can, can create your own image files for this as well. Again, if we click and go into dashboard designer, we can also have a history telltale, so show you where you got to previously, and also a counterclockwise rotation. Okay, so when you right click Go to Dashboard Designer, click counterclockwise rotation, just be aware you get a little change to your image, but um, the numbers don't appear to be right until you do right click, gauge demo, start the gauge demo, and that then will sort it out.